In this video, we'll be converting a Hangman project created by Brad Treversley into a Vue 3 project using the Composition API. This project comes from his course called 20 Web Projects with Vanilla JavaScript, and he has also posted a video about converting it into a modern React app. We will not be changing any of the app's functionality, but instead we'll be breaking it down into components and re-implementing the logic in Vue. We will be using many new techniques introduced in Vue 3, such as creating reusable functions that can handle the key press event. This function can then be used in any of your future projects. So if you would like to see how to do this, stick around to the end. This video also assumes you already have a basic understanding of the Vue 3's composition API, which if you've been following along in the Vue 3 series, you should. Otherwise, I recommend you check out some of these videos. I will also provide a link to all resources in the description below, including a link to the GitHub repo containing all of the code to the Vue and vanilla JavaScript versions. I've already created a project in Vue using the Vue CLI. You should go ahead and do the same if you haven't done so already, or you can take a look at the Vue docs for a reminder on how to do this. Now that we have the project created, we can remove the boilerplate content and start planning our application. Looking at the game, we can divide it into six main components, the header, the figure, wrong letters, word, pop-up, and notification. The pop-up is only visible when the user wins or loses, and the notification will only be visible for a short two seconds when the user has entered the same letter. We will start by copying the CSS styling from the original project since our main focus is on implementing the JavaScript logic in Vue. We will have to make one quick modification in the styling to remove the display mode since we'll be handling this in Vue with the vShow directive. To apply the CS styling to our project, all we have to do is import it using the JavaScript syntax. We can start with our first component, which is fairly simple. Since the header will contain all the same text, we can just copy and paste it over. Next, we create the Hayman character in a component called figure and copy the SVG element from the repo and remove the class property. This component will have a property that accepts the number of wrong letters so we know which limb should be visible. We'll create a simple function that will return true when the number passed in is less or equal to the number of wrong letters. Then we can place this function in the vif directive with the number corresponding to the value in which we want the limb to become visible. Beside the figure, we want to display the wrong letters that the user has entered. We'll create another component for this that will accept incorrect characters as an array. We can copy the HTML elements from the repo and add a vshow to the title so it's only displayed when at least one incorrect letter has been entered. Lastly, we can iterate over each letter with a v4 and use the index to determine if we should add a comma at the end of the letter. Below the figure and incorrect letters is where we will display the word. To create this component, we can copy over the div with the CSS class and iterate over each letter in the word. Inside the loop, we'll use a ternary if statement to only display the letters that have correctly been guessed. It is important to give feedback to the user when they push a letter even if it already been used. We'll create a notification component that will show a message indicating this. It will also accept a property called show that will add a CSS class to the div when the value is truthfully. The logic to toggle and show the data will be handled in the parent component. Lastly, before we start bringing everything together, we'll create our pop-up component. This is shown at the end of the game to display the correct word if the user lost or congratulate the user if they won. Copying over the HTML, we can see there is a final message field. This message will be a computed property that will show a message depending on the status of the game. For the final message reveal word, we only need to show it if the user lost and never guessed the correct word. We can simply do this with a vshow directive. For the play button, when clicked, we'll emit an event that the parent component will use to reset the game. Finally, we'll only want the pop-up to display if the user has lost or won the game. We can do this by simply adding a vif based on if the final message exists, since it will only be set if the game has finished. And we are done creating the components. Let's start building the game logic. The first step is we'll pick a random word from an array of words. This will be our selected word, which the user will be guessing. We will also create an array that contains all the letters that the user has guessed. Using these variables we just defined, we can create two computed properties that will contain all the letters that are correct or incorrect by simply iterating over each letter in the word to check if it's contained in the array of guessed letters. For handling the game status, we also need a computed property that will show lost if the number of wrong letters is six, since that would mean that the hangman has been fully completed, or one if all the letters in the word have been found. 
We will also need a function to reset the game if the user wishes to play again. This function will remove the guest letters and select a new random word. This will be called when the notification emits a reset event. As I mentioned earlier, the logic to show the pop-up indicating the letter has already been pressed will be handled in this component. We'll create a function that will turn a ref true for two seconds. This ref will then be used to toggle the pop-up. Now that we have the values and functions we need to listen for an event press, we will create a reusable function called onkeydown in a different file. This function will accept another function as parameters and call it whenever a button is pressed. Abstracting away this function outside of the component will allow us to reuse it in any of our Vue 3 applications we create. We can add an event listener by using the onmounted lifecycle hook. And then we can remove the event listener by using the before unmounted hook. Going back to our app, we can import this event hook and create our function that will be called. We will do some quick checks to determine if the game is playable and if the key code that has been pressed is a letter. If the key the user has pressed already exists, we will call our show notifications pop-up. Otherwise, if no other conditions have already exited the function, we will add the letter to our guest letter array. Let's return all these values from our setup function and import all our components. We can pass all the prop data to each component and now we have a working hangman game in Vue 3. I hope in this video you learned how to bring the composition API together to create applications in Vue 3. As the series continues, we'll be taking a look at more examples and creating full stack applications. If you enjoyed this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hope to see you in the next one.